Hello everyone, today I'm gonna change the serpentine belt on my Mercedes C300. So the things that you're gonna need is a new uh, serpentine belt, and a socket set, and a ratchet. So the socket set number is a 17, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, I'm gonna stick my hand, see it right in there, is where you have to uh, put this um, the socket in it. So I'll show you how to do that. But before you start doing anything, make sure you can check like on, on internet the diagram of your um, serpentine belt or if you can take a picture of it so you know how to put it back the same way it was. Because if you can see, it's a whole bunch of twists in there. But it's very simple to do. So I'm gonna leave um, the picture of the serpentine belt for this particular vehicle I believe um, from 2008 to 2014 or 15 something like that they should be the same thing but double check and compare it before you start touching it compare it with the diagram before you start touching the um, serpentine belt so first you take this cover so you can give you space between here you don't have to do that but I, I suggest you do it so it give you more room so the way you do it, you just pull it up, place it on top there, and then you have a little extra room. Then you can you own you suck a set and put it right where I'm putting it right now. Okay. And the way to do this is so this is the driver's side right here on this side. So to give you an idea. The way I have it set up, you gotta push it down. Left. So if you can see, when I push it down, you see the movement of the tension, tensioner, whatever they call that, see? Don't do it the opposite. Don't, you gotta do it down. Push, push this down. Don't push it the opposite, because if not, you're not doing anything. So push it to your left, down like that and then it's gonna give you enough to release um, all the tension out of the serpentine belt you can release it out so let me do that right now so it's already out and that's the old one and that's the new one that I bought on Amazon you can just check for your model and your car name and brand and it should give you a suggestion um, I bought a Bosch because that's a kind of good brand so that's the number of it so if you can see give you a close close look the old one it was getting dry so I decided to change it before it blows up because if that breaks it can hit some components there that it might affect you you know other stuff so it's just better to do it so this car is about like less than a hundred thousand miles like you got like 90 or something like that so i'm doing it to avoid any problems so i'm gonna install it right now one thing you have to notice that if you can see on the top it's flat and in the inside you have like grooves and if you can see this mechanism in some areas have um grooves and some areas have flat so when you put in this belt um you'll never put flat stuff on the grooves the grooves if you do a good job if, if you'll know you're doing a good job by checking this this where the flat is is only going to touch flat stuff for example it's going to touch that it's going to touch that and the grooves um are gonna go with the group part of the belt not the flat so if you if you install the flat stuff on the grooves you, that that's gonna tell you you're doing it wrong something is wrong there so make sure um, the groove go with the groove and the flat stay with the flat areas so I basically have everything in place already, if you can see. 
So the very last one you have to do is where the tensioner is. That's the very last. You gotta leave that to the last. So the way I did it, I just put those two all around like that. Then that, the bottom part, came to this big one. And this big, this, and then it goes to the tensioner, but that's where gonna do that at last. You can, if you want, you can place it so you have a, a better track. Then you go up on that one. You can, you keep going down. See, keep going down like that. And then go to this little one and go right on top. And that's supposed to go around again. I'll give you a better idea so I'm gonna put the I'm gonna tension that one and the same way you took it off the same way you gotta do it again so you gotta push this to your left like that not not to the right to the left so that's all you have to do I'm gonna do it right now all right, so the last step is visualize. Make sure all the grooves and lines are lined up where it's supposed to be. So they're not, like for example, they're not over or on the top of any parts. Make sure they are lined up correctly before you start the car to avoid any accidents or any like breakage or anything like that. And that should be it. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this video. Have a good day.